everyone, it's Mr. Brian, and I'm back today in my garage. Now today I wanted to show you another one of my favorite hobbies. So come on, let's go check out what it is. All right guys, so today we're gonna look at another thing that I really like to do when I'm not working at the library, and that is playing hockey. I play on two different teams. One plays on Thursday and one plays on Sunday night, and I just love playing so much. So today I really just wanted to show you the equipment that you have to have to play hockey. So it's all the protective equipment to protect your body while you play and the stuff like this stick right behind me that you need in order to score. So we'll show you all that and we'll get started right here. So I keep all my gear on a drying rack when it's not being used. So this is all the stuff I need to play hockey right here. And I have a bag I keep it in right over here. So let's start showing you a few things. All right guys, so the first thing I wanted to show you, these are my ice hockey skates. Now they are made by CCM, which is a company that makes hockey equipment. And these are my ice hockey skates. You can tell because they have that blade right there on the bottom that glides along the ice as you're skating. And I just put new laces on today, my brand new blue laces. So yeah, these are my ice hockey skates. All right guys, next up we have my roller hockey skates. Now these are the ones that I bought way back in 2008 when I first started playing roller hockey. And I use them mostly for outdoor skating now. And as you can see, instead of a blade, they have wheels. And this is a really old company called Nike Bauer that used to make these skates. So I had these a long time ago and I still have them, I still use them. Just not as often as the ice. So hopefully we'll get back on these pretty soon and play some more roller hockey. All right guys, the next thing I have on the rack here, these are my shin guards. So these, you put on your legs, and you strap them up with these straps back here. And they help protect your leg from getting hit. This one goes over the knee, comes all the way down to your ankle. So that's pretty good protection. These are pretty solid things, so if you get hit by the puck, it's not gonna hurt that bad. So yeah, these are our shin guards. I got one and two here. And then the next thing up, we have our elbow pads. So just like they say, these strap right onto your arm and they help protect your elbow. So if you fall down and hit the ice, it's not gonna hurt. It also covers your forearm and a little bit of your bicep there. Again, I've got two. And then uh, right up on top here, that's where I keep my gloves. So I've got these gloves and they just go on your hand. They help protect your hand from getting hit. Even got a little cuff protection there. And these are some uh, pro stock ones. I paid a pretty good amount of money for these. And I really like them. They're really comfy. And then of course, this is very important. You have to have a helmet. So when you're on the ice, you have to have a helmet to protect yourself. And this one has really good padding inside. And I happen to wear a cage on the front. Now, not everybody wears a cage. Some people might have a visor or they might just have nothing. But uh, I think most people nowadays wear cages, especially when you want to protect your face and your chiclets. Um, and of course, back here, we've got our shoulder pads. So those go right on your shoulder. We have a chest protector. Make sure that you don't get hit with the puck that way. Um, over on the side here, I have my hockey pants. Now they're called hockey pants, but they're really more like shorts because they only come about halfway down. And I did splurge for these a little bit. I got some pro stock ones from CCM and they have the Jets logo because it matches my uniform. So yeah, these are really nice. If I fall over, if I get hit by a puck on the legs, it's not gonna hurt me. Uh, and last but not least, you have your sticks back there. So those are my sticks. I'll get those out and show you a little bit more. Um, but when we're all ready to go, we always throw them in the bag right here. This is my bag. I'm gonna keep everything in there. Barely fits, but it works. And that's my hockey gear. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it all on and we'll show you how that works. <laughs> Let's start from the top to the bottom. Got my helmet right here, keeps my head safe. Got my cage, it keeps my face safe. I got my gloves on, it's gonna keep my hands safe. 
got my elbow pads right here. It's going to cover my elbow, my forearm, and my biceps. I've got my shoulder pads that protect my shoulders, and it protects my front too. Now there's a little bit of gap here, and it does not feel good to get hit with a puck there, but it happens sometimes. Then I've got my pants. It covers all the way down to my knees. And then if you can see it, I've got my shin guards that go all the way down to my ankles, and I've got the skates underneath. Wait a second, aren't I forgetting something? Hey, there we go. Now I got my jersey on, I've got my socks on, and I've got my stick, and we're ready to go. Let's go. All right, guys, I'm back out of my gear, and I just wanted to talk to you for a quick sec about hockey sticks, because they're one of the most important things that you need when you're playing hockey. So the one I use most of the time is this stick right here. It's a CCM Ripcore Trigger 3D PMT. It's one of the newest sticks on the market and it's super light. And it's made out of a material that is called composite. It's a mixture of different types of metals. Now the other stick I have back here is actually a stick from the 70s because my dad, he used to work at Hera Arena in Dayton, Ohio for the Dayton Gems, and he saved a stick. Now this one is made by a brand called Canadian, and it says ultra light, but it's actually really heavy because it's made completely out of wood. The other thing I wanted to show you guys is that there's different curves you can have on your sticks. Now you can kind of see that these curves are opposite. So the stick I use is a right-handed stick, and it curves away from my body this way, and I hold it with my left hand on top and my right hand on bottom. It's a right-handed stick. This one is a left-handed stick. So you would hold it with your right hand on top and your left hand on the bottom and play that way. I don't even know if I'm holding it right because I cannot use a left-handed stick. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching another episode of In the Garage with Mr. Brian. I hope you enjoyed that one. I should have a couple more coming too. And I hope you guys all stay safe at home, okay? Bye!